Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video with Coding with T. So in this video, we are going to create a notification screen for our Gymnasia app, as you can see in this picture. So now, let's jump into the development section. So let's first, let's just create a notification screen in the screen folder and in it create an arrow function. In ES7, you can create an arrow function with just this command. As you can see in the video, you can install the ES6 extension in the Visual Studio code. So now, let's just go to the general route screen and import its notification screen in it. So now, let's go to the bottom tab navigator component and make this notification button pressable. Now, as you can see, after pressing the notification button, we are navigating to the notification screen. So now, let's just go to the notification screen and start editing there. So first, let's import the things we need in this notification screen. Flat list and image. And the spacer as you know. And now let's just create a flash list on the screen. In flash list, we need three types of things. The data, the key extractor, and the render embedded function. As we don't have any data yet so i have already created some demo data for you so let's just import that data on this screen Now, after importing all the grammar data for the flat list, we can get all this data in the random item function. We just have to call item dot and the data name which we want to show on the screen. As you can see, we are getting all the title names in our demo data. Now, our flat list integration is completed. So now, let's just jump 
and do the styling. So first, so let's just create a container view and give it some styling. And now let's just create another view for the user image. The source of the image will be item dot post image and now let's just give some styling for this image. You can see after giving some styling to the image, we are getting no image. For getting image, we have to give some styling to the view also. So let's just give some styling to that view. So now, as you can see, after giving some styling to that view, we are getting our all the user image. Now, let's just create another view for the username and give it some styling. As we want a username with some different color. So let's just give some color to this text. After the username, we need the time underneath the username. So for that, let's just copy this username and change the styling. And replace this item dot username with item dot time. Now our username and the time is at the correct position. So now let's just create another view for the notification and give it some styling. And in its view, let's just create a text with item dot notification. 
and give it some styling. As you can see, there is some gray space under the notification for that. Let's just give some styling to the container view. As you can see, after giving styling to the container view, our notification is in the center and with a complete white background. As you can see, we need little margin between the username and the notification for that. Let's just give some margin left. To the notification. Now as you can see our notification screen is completed. See you in the next video.